Hello everyone, my name is Teresa and today I'll be showing you the basics of how to install and use Zoom on your smartphone or tablet. First, make sure you're connected to the internet so that you can download the Zoom Cloud Meeting app. To do that, first open the App Store or Google Play Store, depending on your gadget. Click on the search button and type Zoom. Once you see Zoom Cloud Meetings, download it. Once downloaded, open the app. You'll see this screen. You can join a meeting using one of these methods. Join a meeting is the easiest because it doesn't require you to register. You just need the meeting ID given to you by your instructor. Tap Sign Up to register for an account using your email. Tap Sign In to Zoom if you already have an account or want to use your Google or Facebook account to log in. Once you already have an account, you can just tap or sign in each time after. Now that you've downloaded and registered for Zoom, I'll show you how to learn online. When it's time to meet, you don't have to drive to school or get stuck in traffic. Just sit back, relax, and turn on your phone or tablet. Let's go back to Zoom. When you open the app, you'll be asked to join a meeting. When you click on it, you'll see Meeting ID. This is a special ID number that will be given to you by your instructor. For this video, we'll be using Meeting ID 1593406475. As an example. Next, go here to type in the name that you want everyone to see. Once ready, tap Join. Once clicked, you'll see a video preview. This allows you to see beforehand what others will see if you decide to join with video. If you don't like what you see, you can join without video and the people in the meeting won't be able to see you. Now you'll see a box to hear others Please join audio, meaning if you want to hear others and have others be able to hear you, you need to either use internet audio or dial in. Call using internet audio is automatic and in my opinion, easier to use. You'll be using your internet to talk in the meeting. Dial in requires that you use your phone service to call into the meeting. If you click on it, you will have many options. In my opinion, this is more difficult, so I won't be going over those steps. Let's go back into the meeting room and talk about the different features that you will see on the screen. At the top, you will see red words, leave. When you no longer want to participate in the meeting, press this and we will no longer be an active participant. At the bottom, you will see many icons. This first one is a microphone with the word mute under it. Press this if you don't want others to hear you. The second icon is a video camera. Stop video. Press this if you don't want others to see you. Share content if you want to show people what's on your phone. Participants allow you to see everyone that is currently in this meeting. An additional feature that I think you'll like is virtual background. Use this if you don't want others to see your real background. To use this, press the ellipses or dot 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 in the bottom right corner. Tap on virtual background. You will then see an option. Here is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. If you don't like it, tap on none and it will go back to normal. Once finished, press close in the bottom right corner. And that's a quick tutorial of Zoom. I hope you found this video helpful. Practicing a strong mindset helps us to be in a better position to get through challenging times like this. In the meantime, be safe, dear friends. We're in this together for the health and safety of all. Feel free to share with friends. Until next time, bye.